Number six will be a red, white, blue bouquet with a crackle. Yeah. It's a foot stand. And yeah. I cut the middle out for a launch pad. Oh, wow. It's going to go a little out that way. Back up. I got it from here. This is a retry from last night and also a reclaimed rocket. Yes. Very nice. Oh. Very nice. Are you smelling cotton candy? I smell something. I smell cotton candy. It smells like sugar, yeah. About how heavy would you say that rocket is? Three? Probably about three pounds. There it is. Richard, I think I can see another one down there. I'm coming in real time. That's right here. Sticking straight in the ground, man. Woo! Look at that. Want to hear something kick ass? What's that? Almost want to crack these fins off and use them on the big one. <laughs> Beautiful fins. I can't believe it. Get my ride. Look at that. I could cut. Look at how much dirt. Hey, you get that picture. Look at the hole in that ground, man. That sucker was sitting right Look, there's there. another one down there. I can see it. In the ground? Yeah, do you want me to get it? I'll get it. This is the most. This is the most uh, successful launch yet. Oh, by far. That's right. Good evening. That was a lot of fun watching those rockets go off, huh? Not sure how many more we're going to make in the future, but if you need more to satisfy your rocket fix, you can read my science fiction book about a millionaire going to Mars. The only problem is a spaceship misses the planet. What am I going to do? I got no food, got no jobs, our pets' heads are falling off. But anyway, you can find it on Amazon. It's got lots of sarcasm and intrigue and 
philosophy and mystery and wonders of life. I hope you enjoy I Dream of Mars. And please, do subscribe.